Hey everybody, it's Chris from Fish Camp and Fix. Today we're gonna to show you how to make a memory with your child that's gonna last them for the rest of their life. Hang around. Did you have a good day? Mm-hmm. All right, everything go your way? Uh, not really. Why not? That's, it was good. It was good, did you have ice cream? Ice cream at school, really? I got two ice creams. Two ice creams? I can see it on your face. Let me tell you what we're going to do today. What? Or this weekend. What? It's going to take tomorrow, too, to get it done. What? We're going to make... Do you remember uh, Houston from Arms Family Homestead? <gasps> I know what it is. We're you... going to make a little pond. That's exactly right. We're going to make a pond. A little outside fish aquarium pond. And we're going to go to the creek and we're gonna to try to find some crawfish to put in it, and we're gonna get some little brim to put in it, and we're gonna keep it outside, and you can feed them and take care of them, and then that'll be a lot of fun. What do you think? It's gonna be fun. Yay! All right, so you're really excited. You think that'll be cool? Yep. Huh? Yep. All right, well, let's get Christy out here. We can go and we get our stuff, all right? Okay, I guess I'll go get her. I wanna see the pit Where's light. Look. Look up in there, see if it's up in there. <laughs> okay, yesterday I had some footage of before we went and got Brooks at school and it got corrupted, but basically what we did is is we went to Florence last night to some of the stores. We went to Petco, to Walmart, to Home Depot. Depot. Yeah, Home Depot. And we picked up the supplies that we needed to do this uh, project with today. Uh, where else did we go? I can't remember, Brooke. Um, we went to... Oh yeah. Uh, no, no, Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. And you got? Uh, Andy's steak. You got a steak? Yeah. Did you eat it all? Better. Good? It was very good. It was very good. We had fun with that. But uh, basically, we went up there and we picked up everything that we need to do to do this project with. We spent a little bit more money than what we wanted to spend, but that's okay. If you get this stuff from Amazon, you could have saved some money. The big box store stores are a little uh, uh, more expensive, but I found like the aerator and the um, filter for like 25 or $30, and we spent 45 on it last night, which was not the intentions that we had with this to keep the budget low. We could have kept it um, lower if we would have waited and been more patient, but we weren't more patient. But anyway, Brooks is gonna show you what we've got and what we're gonna do today to get this ready for our fish that we're going to get. Now, Brooks, what kind of fish do we wanna to try to find today to put in I here? I want brim, I want- Look at the camera. Crawdads. I want some bluegill and some minnows and goldfish. Goldfish? Uh, I don't know where we're gonna find goldfish yet today. <laughs> they don't exactly swim around in the local creek. <laughs> Isn't there a creek right over there? Uh, that's not the creek we're going to. I know a place from back in my youth that is over, that feeds into Upper Bear Creek reservoir that is absolutely used to be full of crawfish and that's where we're going to start once we get ready to go but first of all what we're going to do is Brooks is going to show you everything we've got to make this happen this morning so Brooks take it away so we have a box it's very flimsy so we're going to reinforce it with some duct tape all right this is just a regular old rubber made from Walmart I think it was nine dollars plastic tote. Now get the duct tape, Brooks. Duct and now, now see right here? Very flimsy right here. So, so we're gonna, so we're gonna take th this and kinda go one time around the perimeter. Do I have to do it right now? No, we're not gonna do it right now, but what that's gonna do is basically give it some support at the top. Now the wagon at the bottom has these side rails, and these side rails are gonna kinda support the bottom. The wagon is something that Brooks had from a long time ago, 
and basically it just worked out that the tub fit in there but that's good because at times we're going to have to go clean this uh and so that we could put our fish into like a bucket and that we can take this over to the water hose pour it out wash it out and get it clean and get it get it good for the fish so the wagon worked out plus these sideboards is going to kind of help support the weakness of the plastic tub and so that's good okay brooks what else have we got we've got some tab water conditioner what does that do it may basically takes all the chlorine the chemical chlorine out of our tab water so the fish can live chlorine i hear is not good on fish yeah Okay. Then we got an aerator. Turn which, on around. Which will keep. It's not just an aerator. It's a filter. It's an aerator and a filter, right? And it's going to be on the side, side mounted. Yep. And and we're not completely sure how that's going to work. I've got kind of an idea in my head of how we're going to put that together and make it work. Uh, basically, it hangs off the side. I don't know if it's going to suction real good to the side of it, but we have a lot of capability, so we think that we're going to be able to make that work. So we got a filter, we got the chlorine conditioner, tap water conditioner, and now pick this up. All right, let's hit it to the side. Let's see if we can just get it up here on the side of the way. And these are just river pebbles. River pebbles. <clears throat> Very inexpensive, got those at Home Depot. They were, um, I don't know, they were $5, weren't they? I think so. Yeah, and what we're going to do with those is we're going to put those in the bottom of our tote. So we have a lot going on on a Saturday. And like I said earlier, this is going to be something that Brooks and I can remember doing forever and ever. And I just think until it's a, we die. until we die. And I just think it's a great project and um, a lot of fun. All right, what we have here is we have our river rocks. Our dirty river rocks. They're very dirty. And, and mud. Yeah, and mud. And what we don't want, we don't want to dump these in our new aquarium and have it muddy the water. And of course, we got a filter, and over time, it would um, it would uh, clean it out and make the water clear. But we're going to try to um, keep it clear from the start. Keep it clear from the start. That way, we can really see what's going on and see how our fish are doing. Okay. So what I did is we've got this just salad strainer. We're just going to put a handful of rocks in there at a time, wash them all, rinse them all. No, hold on, and um, and go from there. So uh, let's get that done, Brooks. Go turn the water on. Yay! Okay. All right. Now we're going to put them in the aquarium? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It looks like they're panning for gold. Yep. All right, now, dump them in. Okay. Dump them in. Yeah. Very good. Okay, load it back up. Okay. Rinse and repeat. We've got our rocks in our tub. It's all clean. Looks pretty good. Like we like it. Now, I'm going to show you on our buggy, our wagon, that our our um, aquarium will sit down on these lips. lips right here, all the way around, and it works really good. But I'm afraid we're going to get some sag in the middle and eventually break our aquarium. So we've come up with these 4 before 4s and some shims, and we're going to put those in there, and that's just going to simply support... The bottom of our aquarium so we're just going to turn them in here like this and maybe like this okay now let's see how that works much better very stable the bottom's not sagging anymore i pushed on it it don't have any spring it works good We have got the Acuon, Acuon, is that how you say that? Ac Would you say? Acuon White Flow 40 aerator. aerator filter. 
It doesn't say aerator, but the little girl at Pet Depot said it would keep it aerated to a certain degree. And um, it being a 40 gallon uh, uh, filter, and we've only got a 26 gallon container, I think it's gonna be plenty adequate to aerate and filter our um, aquarium. So we're about to install this bad boy and see. And then after we get this on, we'll be ready to put water in it put a little uh, water treatment in it to dechlorinate, dechlorinate the water and we'll be good to go. And then we can go catch crawdads. All right, here's what we've got. We got our aquarium set up. We've got our filter in. It was pretty straightforward. Christy handled that and got it put in. And uh, it just plugs into the wall. Over here where we're gonna put, we're gonna put it, I have a uh, outlet, so that's gonna work really nice. And uh, this is tap water conditioner dechlorinator. It's supposed to remove uh, chlorine and, and neutralize or detoxify heavy metals that's in your tap water. Stuff apparently is very potent because it calls for one milliliter per 15 gallons. And we have a 26 gallon tub and we're not going all the way to 20, I mean that would be probably up to the top. We don't want it to the top. We're gonna to go about right here. So I'm gonna go with, with the one mil and then just a very little bit after that. So there is, <laughs> I don't know, but that's what it says. Um, that's not very much, was it? Okay, so that's that. We're gonna go fill it up with water. Yay. Stay tuned. Uh, one thing that I will say before uh, we go, when we're about to go catch some fish, hopefully and some crawfish put in here, is that we took the time to wash these rocks and that is I, I would strongly recommend that you do that we watched one guy we watched several people on youtube build things that were similar to this and then one guy that we watched he just got his rocks from home depot just like we did as the river rocks dumped them right into his bucket and filled it up with water and he had a muddy mess on his hand that took days to get uh uh clean with his filter and plus it's just going to stop your filter up faster we took time and washed our rocks, and for the most part, I wouldn't call it crystal clear. Bring the camera over here, Christy, and shine down in the in it. I wouldn't call it crystal clear, but I also wouldn't call it cloudy. It's uh, it's it's in pretty good shape to start with. So I would strongly recommend that you wash your rocks before before doing this. So we're going to be putting these in a pond so that our fish just a little bit of their own habitat now we've got it done and we're about to try out our um filter oh it's getting a little colder there. it's getting a little colder in here looky there you know what it's missing now what's it missing now the fish and the crawdads and really caves. time to make it come to life isn't it yeah Okay. And this is not like the only decoration we have in there. We'll come up with some stuff. Yeah, we need to like and make little caves in the rocks so they can just fish in there and snuggle up. Yeah. Well, let's go catch these crawdads. All right, we got to go inside. Check it out. There he is. Look at him trying to get me. Check him out. Yeah. Touch him. It's my very first lobster ever touched in my life. Pretty cool. Yeah. We're going to try to catch another. Hey guys, this is our second. Hey guys, this is my. This is. I am a crawdad. Hello. Back up, it's not in focus. What are you going to name that one? Um, let's name this guy Mr. Reach Over a Lot. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Reach Over a Lot. <laughs> okay, he tries to do sit up. And he got pulls whisker. When he bites you, don't drop him. He going into a full battle mode, you know what? Let's name this little guy Callus. 
Clawless? Yeah, because he doesn't have heart. He hardly has any claws. He hardly has any claws, so let's call him Clawless. All right, put him in the bucket. All right, put the lid back on. Just stick the net in there and see if they'll swim out, Brooks. Okay. <laughs> hey, we still got one in there. Hey, on. Is that one? No. Okay. So there's. Do you think Joe? One. There's the big one. And I don't know where number three went. It was really small. There's one, two. Okay, y'all. We left with three crawfish and a salamander. And we got here and released them, and we have two crawfish. Hey, here it is, Chris. It's right here. On the ground? Chris, you just found it. You can pick it up by his back, isn't it, Archie? We found him. There's a third crawdad. What are we going to do? We're going to go back, and we're going to get some small hooks? Yep. And yeah. we are going to use this cane paw. It comes with this right here, and it comes with this, and this. Nah. And, but then we got one, we got tiny small hooks and some worms. Boy, you can't beat the red worms, can you? Mm, you can. All right, let's go. Okay, everybody, we are ready to put a wrap on this day. It's been a good day. It's been a long day. Did you have fun? Yes. All right, tell, yeah. them, tell them what we've got now. We've got some fish. Brim. Brim, bass, and all that. A rock bass. A rock bass, yes. I forget their technical name. We, uh, we finally had to resort to go getting an old cane pole and a bunch of uh, red worms, and we finally caught us some brim at a um, local spot that I knew. But yeah, we're gonna show them to you now. Now don't let them on the ground. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And this, this one right here, I'm afraid he's going to die because he swallowed the hook. Maybe the rust out. I don't know. But look at the colors on this little guy. Is that not cool? Look at his orange on his fins down here. Okay. I'm going to go put this in. So one. Two. two and then here's three. Here's four. Oh yeah, this one's built for. So we have five? Yeah, five. Look at him, he's so cute. And then we have a little crawdad right here. Crawdad. I've gotten used to them pinching me. That little baby ones don't hurt when they pinch you. They just kind of feel like a little kitten's button. There's our little this little pond is safe to say it's complete for now. Complete for now. Are you going to be able to keep your hands out of it? Yes. What are you What are you going to feed your fish? Probably worms. Well, I hope y'all have had a good day today. I know I have. Um, it's been an awesome Saturday hanging out with Brooks. We had a lot of fun. We uh, did a lot of things and. All in all, it was a good Saturday. What do you think, Brooks? It was a great Saturday. And I someday we're going to go catch more and put them in this bucket. 
Catch more and put them in that bucket. Yeah. All right. After those fish stuff. We're going to leave the fish alone for a while and let what? them get. Come here. I Turn around. Let them get used to their new environment. Let them get them settled, get settled in. Until the next video, this is Fish Camp and Fix signing off. We'll see you next time.